Have you ever looked into somebody's face and you just immediately felt like they were a good person? Or maybe you looked at their face and decided, I think I need to head the other direction. Well, this is why that happens. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. If you like what you see here, I'd really appreciate it if you pull out your phone and follow me on Instagram at BrettMVRK. I put a lot of really cool stuff on there you won't find anywhere else. Do you have the face of a leader? Let me answer that for you. You definitely do. You know how I know that? Because you're watching my channel. But in actuality, research continues to show that your facial features actually can say quite a bit about the type of person you may be. So what about you? What does your face say? Let's find out. The first facial feature is your face width. Psychologist and neuroscientist Keith Welker studied the faces of a thousand professional soccer players in the World Cup. And what he compared was their face ratio width to height and the amount of goals that they scored. So what he studied was the width between the cheekbones and the length between the lip and the brow. Average being 1.7 to 1.85, low being 1.5 to 1.7, and high being 1.85 to 2.0. And his research showed that the higher the numbers got, the more goals were scored, which tells us that those players possess more leadership qualities. So in summary, wider faces show results in more success. But it's important to remember this is all just based on averages. Obviously, every individual is different. There's plenty of long-faced people who are extremely successful. So go out there and defy the odds. All right, moving along. Number two, this one comes by no surprise. It's Hair. This is obviously something that changes a lot with time. For example, in the Viking raping and pillaging era, uh, the longer and more braids you had in your hair as a man means that you were more masculine because you had conquered and defeated more enemies. Now in today's age, it's typically viewed as a little more feminine to have long braided hair as a man. But what we do know is that you do look more successful if you have hair. A study at John Hopkins University had people rate pictures of men before and after having a hair transplant, so bald versus having hair. And they rated the pictures of the guys with hair as more attractive, approachable, and successful. So maybe you're freaking out a little bit because maybe you're experiencing some hair loss, but that's actually completely normal. Two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. The good news with today's advancements in science, Keeps offers proven treatments that can combat the symptoms of hair loss. So shout out to Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Getting started with Keeps is so easy. Sign up takes less than five minutes. Just answer a few questions and snap some photos of your hair and a licensed physician will review your information online and recommend the right treatment for you. Then it's shipped right to your door every three months. No waiting rooms, no pharmacy, no embarrassment, and it's all on your schedule from the comfort of your own home. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss products out there. Some of you have probably tried them before, but you've never tried them at this price. Keeps is only 10 to $35 a month, but right now you can get your first month for 40% off. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash Brett to receive 40% off your order. That's keeps.com slash Brett. So check out the link in the description, get yourself hooked up and become that successful, sexy man you're meant to be. All right, so that takes care of that hair. It helps to have it. Number three, eye shape. Research shows that the most attractive eye shape in women is almond and in men it's rectangle? Rectangle, what the f is a rectangle eye. Well, it's better known as a hooded eye. What that means is the skin above your eyeball and your upper eyelid, when it folds over your eye just a little bit, creating a line on your eye. And you can achieve this just by relaxing your eyebrows, not raising them up, looking all surprised, and also squinting a little bit. That helps, but obviously don't force it because that just looks weird. But it's proven to make you look more calm, grounded, and trustworthy, which are all characteristics associated with being a leader. You look like the type of person that can take on a conflict and come out on top, come out on the other side victorious. Just look at the difference between these two eyes, hunter versus prey eyes, which person do you trust more? All right, moving on, wrinkles. It doesn't just give away your age, but it also gives some insight into the type of person that you are. You see, you have these muscles inside your face that are responsible for making expressions. Maybe it's smiling or frowning or being surprised, right? And the fact is, the more that you use these, the more you're moving your skin around and these expressions actually get drawn on your skin in the form of wrinkles. So if you have crow's feet or smile lines, then you're more likely to be viewed 
as an overall optimist who likes to smile a lot and just have a good time. And on the contrary, if you have forehead creases or in between your eyebrow creases, then you're viewed as a less fun person, unfortunately, more serious, and someone who has had to overcome a lot of stress. But honestly, I wouldn't worry too much about that because we're all gonna end up looking like wrinkly ball sacks anyways, so who cares? And last but not least is the Dorian Gray effect. What the Dorian Gray effect is, it's where your bad habits actually show on your face and usually on your skin. Have you ever wondered why as time goes on, identical twins look less and less alike? Oh, you've never wondered that? I guess it's just me. <laughs> but yeah, it's because of the Dorian Gray effect. They live different lives most of the time and their daily habits show on their skin. For example, it's very common for heavy drinkers and alcoholics to actually end up having a lot of redness and lumpiness in their nose. The same could go for people who spend too much time in the sun without you know, sunscreen or people who use a lot of drugs or eat a bunch of fast food, right? It's all gonna end up showing on your face and on your skin. Alexander Todorov, a professor from Princeton, found that you instantly make an impression of somebody as soon as you see them. And this relates to the halo effect where you see attractive people and you more commonly associate them with being better people and more friendly. And in fact, he even conducted a study and found that people with round faces and big eyes are often viewed as naive, genuine, and kind. Meanwhile, people with asymmetric, serious, and less attractive faces are usually perceived as antisocial and bad behavior. But don't fall into this trap of thinking that you have to be one way just because you have this type of face. It doesn't matter, guys. I just wanted to inform you on some of the psychology and, so, and some of the studies that have taken place. But um, because I've definitely fallen part of making impressions of people as soon as I see them, sometimes I see people and think they're probably a good person and I end up being wrong later. Or sometimes I think they're a bad person and I end up being yeah, wrong, I guess. Who cares, guys? Live your best life, be your best person, and live your damn life. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments any other types of videos you want to see. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and until next time, peace out.